We are back in region play. Spain Park hosting surprising Tuscaloosa County in a 7A Region 3 game. Dre Brown will break free. And that increases Tuscaloosa County's lead to 24 to 7. The Wildcats strong on the road. And then Spain Park 7, Smallwood says, I'll just do it myself here. Faking, uh, doing a little pump fake there, going 40 yards to the end zone. The game will get a little sloppy with a pair of fumbles on the next two drives. First, by County High's Sawyer Deerman losing the handle of the football there. And then the second fumble is going to be forced by County High by Eli Herndon on Evan Smallwood. And Tuscaloosa County is 5-1. and one. What a story. They win 38-28. to 28. The Hoover Bucks head into the second half of the season with a perfect 3-0 region record. They took that record to Herbach Park to play Oak Mountain. First quarter, scoreless game. Hoover's great defense. Jordan Norman gets in for the sack. Very next play, it is Norman again, just blowing up the double reverse. The Bucks D rolling early in the second quarter. KJ Law on the double reverse for the Bucks. And he'll glide into the end zone untouched. And Hoover was on the board 7-0. Later in the second, Hoover's Jay Avery as we look at that Hoover Buck defense again, Jay Avery would get the pick. And the Bucks are in business again. And now backup quarterback Brody Stacy is in, and he will hit KJ Law in stride. KJ outraces the Eagles defense, and Hoover wins easily 40 to nothing the final. The other unbeaten team in Region 3 is Thompson. The Warriors and Bucks will square off in three weeks. But there's work to do first, like playing Hewitt Trustful tonight at Warrior Stadium. Hewitt Trustful quarterback Peyton Floyd can throw it. He can also do damage with his legs. A long run, beautiful ball fake right there on third down to get the Huskies first and goal. Same drive now, third and goal. Josiah Ward gets the pass break up at the goal line. Hewitt Trustful has to settle for a field goal. A.J. Green, he ran for 150 last week. He was Thompson's best offense in the first half, ripping off a 35-yard run down to the trust for 17. A few plays later, Thompson quarterback Zach Sims will throw it to the end zone, but the Hewitt trust for defense comes up big. The Huskies, Ricky Gibson, picks off the off-balance throw by Sims. Hewitt trust for led 6-0 at the half, but the Warriors get rolling in the second half as Sims will throw deep and he'll find Corbin Williams. You'll see it coming up right here for a 40-yard touchdown run. We'll just keep on going. Thompson wins it 14-12. to There's the pass. Let's hear from Mark Freeman. We're living on the edge of the world, really. But, um, you know, our kids play hard. I'll say this. We came out second half and played better. We are down, what, 60 nothing and a half maybe? And come out score 14 unanswered points. So you can't really, you know, argue with that. I say un they scored late to, to make it, but we made a great play on the two-point conversion. I don't know. I, I give them a lot of credit, but I give our guys a lot of credit to come out second half playing better football. All right, let's check in on 6A Region 3. The Briarwood Lions hosting Helena. Briarwood in the uh, Halloween spirit already. Helena's Jordan Washington. He's back. And he is running hard. He has stopped just short of the goal line. Uh, he'll punch it in himself a play later. A uh, big night for Jordan Washington tonight, tonight. More on that in just a moment. Meanwhile, Broward's Brady Waugh thought he had the play of the night for his Lions, but the possession awarded to the defender, Hunter Hale, who gets the nice pick. And then more Jordan Washington for the Helena Huskies. Helena from its own 20, and this is what Jordan Washington can do. The home run threat, an 80-yard touchdown, and Helena wins it 31-21. to Coming up on the Friday Night Blitz, it's like the 4th of July. The Rockets of Gardendale and the Patriots of Hillcrest on the show. And Northside and Corner battled it out in our Friday Night Rivals Game of the Week. The highlights are on the way. All right, welcome back to the Blitz. The Gardendale Rockets hosting Jackson Olin in a 6A Region 5 game. Beautiful homecoming night at Driver Stadium. And the Rockets had a lot of touchdown drives at Driver Stadium tonight. They were up 27 to nothing after a quarter. And they continue to pour it on. Tyler Nelson scrambling for some yardage. And then finishing the drive 
with the touchdown right here, cutting through the hole, and Gardendale rolls 40-6 to the final. The Friday Night Rivals Game of the Week took us to Corner High School. The Yellow Jackets trying to go where no Jacket team has gone since 1964. The Jackets trying to go 6-0, hosting the Northside Rams after Northside took a 7-0 lead. They kick it short to Corner's Calvin Taylor, who catches it at the 18, and he's a rocket up the middle for 82 yards, and that tied the game at 7. This was a very entertaining football game tonight at corner quarters Gavin Brown their leading rusher right up the middle for 20 yards that tied it up to 14 we're still in the first half back comes north side Braden Green out of that single wing he ran it 30 times for 209 yards Rams go up 21 to 14 after this score but corner answers with a minute to go in the half Landon Peterson the freshman Tyler Tyson Hill the tied up at 21 at halftime third quarter Northside third and seven. Green, 15 yards to Jaden Roberts, 28 21 Northside. And now in the fourth, corners Peterson in trouble. He's going to throw it back to nobody. Peyton Beard will scoop and score for the Rams, a D lineman's dream. Northside wins 35 21. Here is the winning coach, Robbie Jones, with James Everett and Rick Rhodes. All right. Thank you so very much, Coach Jones, for joining us. First of all, let's talk about that outstanding rushing offense. Is it a tradition to run that type of wing offense? Yes, sir. It's uh, We started that uh, a long time ago with the double wing, and we adapted to it and put it in the gun, and that's what Northside's all about. When you look at this game, it was all tied up at 21 in the second half. It seems as though you doubled down on rushing the football. What really propelled your team into this victory? Just being tough and uh, getting back to what we do. And some things we've done in the past is, is just not what we're about. And I said, you know what, we're going to stick with what we do and we're going to hang our hat on it and we're going to live or die by it. And, and people's either going to stop it or get out of the way. Uh, taking a look at your defense, they shut the door in the second half. What did you tell them and what adjustments did you make? We made some adjustments. They, uh, they got some unbalanced sets. They was running outside zone. And then when we would go uh, over one and bring a guy over, they starting to hit us inside. So we started making some adjustments on the front, not going over one, and, and everybody playing their gap. All right, thank you very much, Robbie Jones. Big, big win for them. The marquee matchup of the night was in 4A Region 4. Two unbeaten, second-ranked Hanley of fourth-ranked Anderson. Jamarius Haynes injured his foot a couple of weeks ago. He did suit up and give it a go. Cameron Sandlin back in the shotgun for Anderson. Hands it off to Malachi Taylor, who will take it to the outside. And that put the Bulldogs up 7-0 with 44 seconds to go in the first quarter. Now, during the ensuing kickoff, Jamarque Lewis is going to receive that kick. Lewis will take it, and he'll bob and weave past defenders. He'll take it 35 yards to set up Hanley's offense. Pretty much the highlight of the night for Hanley because Aniston was so dominant in this football game. And it's Jalen Cunningham scoring for the Aniston Bulldogs coming up right here. Cameron Sandlin in the shotgun gives to Jalen Cunningham who gets taken down right there for a big loss by Hanley. But here we go. Salen in the backfield looks to his right and finds Javon Thomas, who breaks three tackles for the Bulldog touchdown. And Aniston wins it by a 32-7 final. The Mighty Hillcrest Patriots, the best in the West, ranked fourth in 6A, hosting Central Tuscaloosa tonight. Pats trying to stay on beaten in Region 4. Hillcrest with the ball first. Ethan Crawford is going to roll out and find Jackson Henderson who would just bulldoze over a defender for the 36-yard touchdown. Right there, big physical, physical run. And then the Patriots driving again, and Crawford this time is going to hand off to Jamaria Johnson to make the score 14 to nothing. Then after a short Falcons punt, here Crawford evades the defender, pitches it to Jay Sean Land. He scampers in for the score. Hillcrest led 42-6 of the half, and they win it 63-19, the final score. Coming up, we look ahead to a big college football Saturday, a check on the Auburn LSU injury list, and Johnny Condon previews the battle between Bama and Arkansas.